local commissioners met with state leaders today to figure out the county's needs. It's ahead of their departure to Raleigh for this year's continued session. WNCT Zor Stevenson was at today's meeting and reports on Pitt County's wish list. Period of time, we can have the developers. This right here is legislation over lunch. The folks who are on the ground in Pitt County and the county commissioners are going through and looking at what they need from us. That's good to hear too what comes up from um, the local leadership um, and the general public. County leaders brought a list of goals to the table, things they want state leaders to take with them as they head to Raleigh. Six bullets, but three main points. We give them the, the exact thing that we're asking for. They look over and they're honest with us. They'll tell us, look, this may not get traction in this session, but we may be able to look at it next session. The first item, maintenance bonds for subdivision streets. This is to prevent homeowners from paying out of pocket. The second was geared towards nonprofits. The county has to reimburse nonprofits for what they pay in sales tax and leaders say it creates budget issues. Lastly, they want an update to the state's building code. In the past, we've been very successful in accomplishing things that are small tweaks or local legislation that just impacts this area. With just two days until another legislative session, county leaders aren't the only ones with a wish list. Your biggest hope for the state legislature? I think we have to take this opportunity as an opportunity as there's a lot of transition going on. Oh, it's, it's a time for us to focus on how we can come together and move forward and really get some things done. We owe it to the residents of our great state um, to work across party lines and to put the interests of the people first um, above partisan politics. Both Democrat and Republican legislators say they'll work together to meet the county's needs. In Greenville, Zora Stevenson, not on your side. Also on the agenda today at Pitt County's commissioners meeting, the budget. They discussed capital improvement plans, which are projects with the price tag over a million dollars. They went over which improvements they'd like and don't like. While nothing is confirmed, Pitt County's manager says they have a pretty good idea of what will make the full budget. I think we've weeded things out pretty clearly. There would just be further clarification and refinement of those projects that are still have interest by some of the commissioners as to whether that's feasible from a funding standpoint. Some of the major projects up for discussion include vehicle replacements and school renovations, a new gym at Alice Keene Park, and an updated law enforcement center with some of the things the, on the do not recommend list.